I could see the lights, but not the craft. And that's when it hit me. It didn't make any sound. Stephenville, Newfoundland, Canada. It's a small town in a small province. It's very flat next to the ocean and it kind of feels like you're at the edge of the world. My wife Brittany and I had moved to Stephenville in the summer of 2006. We had uh, gotten this apartment, we were going to college, we had finished the first year, so we wanted to keep the apartment for the next year. Um, so we got summer jobs and we stayed there during the summer. One night in early August, it was a very hot night and I had been having trouble trying to fall asleep. And in the midst of this, I hear this crazy loud roar of a plane over the, over the apartment building. And I mean, it literally rattled the walls. And it was so strange because we had been out there for two semesters and the entire time that we had been living there, I had been told that the airport was closed. I thought it had to be an emergency landing. And as I laid there and the gears of my head started turning, I got very curious. I had to see what this was. So I jump out of bed and I go look out the window. Now as a point of reference, uh, the apartment building that we lived in was propped up on a hill and we were on the second floor right in the middle of this L-shaped type building. So I could get a fairly decent view of the town. By the time I had actually gotten out of bed, the plane had landed and I could see what looked like blue I guess lights running what I thought was the runway. So I thought, okay, yeah, this is a plane. But still, it was strange to me. So I decided to wake Brittany up to, to come take a look. I remember telling Will the plane actually looked like it landed on the road and that it looked way too big and too close to be even at the airport, which was at a fair distance away. I don't even think we could have seen the airport from the window of our apartment building. We had been standing in our bedroom window for at least 20 minutes or longer, just having a, a chat while we were waiting for something to happen. The plane engines finally shut off and it just went completely quiet. I mean, you could hear a pin drop. We continued to stand in the window and talk and I kind of wondered about that and why we just didn't go back to bed. I mean, it was in the middle of the night and we had school the next morning. I guess subconsciously we kind of knew that something might happen. Shortly after that, we could see this craft kind of enter our field of vision and it flies over and hovers over the airport. Now at first, um, what I see are these three multicolored lights. I cannot remember what the color of those lights were, but it was three different lights and they were kind of angled. So to me, I, I imagine that they were th three lights horizontally placed on a helicopter. And the reason why it was angled would be that, you know, it's flying this way, the nose is kind of down. I really can't remember what the color of the lights were, and Will can't even remember what the color of the lights were. All we both can remember is that there were three multicolored lights. Whatever it was, it flew over the airport and just hovered there. And it hovered there for some time, actually. So this thing, whatever it is, is hovering over the airport. And I'm running all these different scenarios in my head. Something happened to the plane. Somebody on the plane had a heart attack or a stroke or something like that. But the longer that this thing drags out and the craft is not landing, it's not lowering, kind of started to feel like it was surveying the airport. It started flying towards us kind of to the left and it actually got pretty close before it passed our field of view looking out the window. And then it comes back in closer again and then it just shoots off straight into the sky. I started screaming, it's a UFO, it's a UFO. And up till now I had been very skeptical. To me it was, no, this is a helicopter. But it took that moment until it registered in my mind that this thing never made a sound. We never got up the next day to see if we could see the airport from our window. 
We never tried to come up with a good explanation. We never looked into what might have happened at the airport that night. We never looked into anything. And these are things that you would think you would do. You'd think you would do that after such an encounter. But we just went back to life as if nothing had happened. A year later, a friend of mine had actually come out to campus as well. He had his own UFO story. And a couple of years after that, I had been working at a newspaper company when an, another man from Stephenville came in and he wanted a piece put in the paper requesting anyone else who might have seen a UFO that he had just seen. That's three different UFO encounters in this tiny town and this tiny province. And that's just three that I know of. There's got to be something to it. I'm not saying it was an alien craft or that there were aliens on board. I really don't know what it was. You tell me what it was. <laughs>